this is Danielle from NorthlineExpress.com and I'd like to show you a couple of our most popular ash vacuums. We have our Cheetah 2 and our Cougar vacuum. These are made by Loveless Ash and are a great option for fireplaces and wood stoves. But let's go ahead and start with putting one together. Really the only thing that you're going to be putting together is the filters. This has two filtering systems. You put this right over the fan portion here. Slip that down. Take one of your straps and put that securely on the bottom. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver for this portion. You have a rectangular piece here and also a brass head right there that we're going to insert the rod in and your second filtering system. And there's a lip that's actually on the head of the unit that sticks up, I'd say that's about a half inch. You want to make sure this is securely tight all the way around and it is a very tight fit so it may take a little bit just getting that on there but you do want to make sure that's on there really well because we're going to strap that down as well. And your larger strap goes right on this and you're just going to tighten this as well. Put it right back on top latch all three clamps there and then we're going to go ahead and put our hose on. This is a very tight fit so it takes a little bit of muscle on this part but once you get that fitted to the very top here you have your angle tool and we have it together. Now another option that you can add on is the three-piece toolkit. Now when you're using the three-piece toolkit, you won't use this piece, but it does include a brush, which is a great option, your pellet tool, which is great for pellet stoves, and then your angle tool. So let's go ahead and start comparing the two units. In a side-by-side -side comparison between the Cougar or the Cheetah 2, there is only one difference, and that is that the Cheetah 2 sounds a little bit more like a shot vacuum. <laughs> Your Cougar sounds a little bit more like your household vacuum. It's a little bit more muffled up here. You have more of an insulation, as you can see from the tops here. Other than that, the canister is exactly the same. You can choose it in black or the winter scene that we're going to be using today. It comes with the same hoses. You can purchase the three-piece toolkit for either one of these, and it fits on there really nice. The filtering systems are exactly the same. And typically on the filtering systems, you're going to want to replace those about every season, but it's going to depend also how much you use your vacuum. If you're burning, you know, your heating with your wood or with a pellet stove, then it is recommended about once a season. With the filters, you can just rinse them out with water. We do not recommend to use any detergent on them because it can break down the actual, um, the filter itself, the cloth on them. So let's go ahead and turn these on so you can hear the test difference. This is our Cheetah 2, and here's the sound on it. As you can tell, that is a little bit loud, so if you're going to be cleaning professionally, we do recommend to purchase the Cougar. That's a little bit of a better option for when you're going to be around homeowners and cleaning, because you're not sure if they're going to be on the phone or what they're doing, so it gives them a little bit more privacy. Now let's go ahead and check out our Cougar vacuum to see the sound difference. It is quite a bit quieter. It's more like your household vacuum. Now let's go ahead and use our ash vacuum. Now the first piece that I'm going to show you how to use is the initial piece that comes with it, the angle tool. This has a smaller opening than it does on the actual tube. Now it's there for a really good reason. You don't want to suck up embers. This is an ash vacuum only and you want to make sure your ashes are cool because if you get any hot ashes in there you could possibly melt the rubber hosing so it is very important that you only suck up cool ashes. And when you're using your tool you want to make sure you get down on about a 45 degree angle there and you're slightly picking those up. I'm going to go ahead and start to show you how to use this and then we're going to go start using our tools. Mm -hmm. 
Now, as you can see here, I picked up a couple of embers and it just immediately stopped sucking. So you're going to want to make sure that you clear those out and then you can continue on using your ash vacuum. Let's go ahead and move to the next tool here, the angle tool. I just love this piece because you can really get in the nooks and crannies. Let me go and show you how to use it. Another tool that comes in really handy, especially if you have glass doors, is just lightly cleaning off the glass. Um, this is going to be a great option to get that dust and a little bit of that residue off there. Let me show you how to use this one. As you can see, I went around all the other pieces on the outside of the stove because when you are burning, you do get particles coming out and a little bit of dust. And this is a great option. Instead of having to dust separately, just do your job all at once. You have the inside of the stove and the outside of the stove done all together. That is our conclusion of the Cheetah 2 and the Cougar vacuum. This has been tested and approved by NorthlineExpress.com. Check it out today.